guys, so I know I'm on here looking a little crazy right now, but I'm going to show you how I basically, um, I'm going to put my wig on, and this is actually a wig I made, and it's a U-part wig, which I haven't made in forever, but, um, yeah, so this hair is from Asteria, Asteria hair, and I already have a video, um, about the hair, but this video, I just wanted to make it and show you guys, like, how my braid pattern was and how I actually put the U-part wig on and all that stuff. So, this is actually my first wig I made. I think that's straight. I never wear straight hair. But I want to try something different. So, this is 16 inches. And I made the wig and I used almost four bundles. And this is, like, the U slash V part thing going on right here. So you guys can look it up. There's tons of videos on how to make a U slash V part wig. Um, so I took these small combs and I put them um, right where like that part goes. And then I have a comb like on the like diagonal side if that makes sense. And you can put one in the back but I didn't put one in the back yet just because I was lazy. So my hair right now I just... Um, I don't know how to braid like going backwards. I only know how to braid going to the side. If you know how to braid going backwards, that'll be even better. But um, I just braided two on the side here and two on the side there. The back is plaited because I can't really braid. And I left some of the hair out right there. And I left my hair out here in the front for a leave out. And then I'll part it, you know, and flat iron it and stuff. But yeah so basically how I put this on is I take one side at a time so I'm gonna take this side and I do not have a mirror in front of me so it's kind of hard let me scoot up there we go so I'm gonna take this side and just put it in here like I said it's better if you can braid backwards um, so there won't be like a gap or anything and I'm just gonna flip the hair over and I'm going to put it on that side. Voila. And then I'm just going to take the side combs right here and put them in. Uh, if you have an elastic band, that will probably be better so you won't have combs. Uh-oh. See, look at this. So you won't have, like, combs on the side of your head. But I just didn't put one in. So yeah, and then, you know, you take the other comb and put it in here, and voila. So there it is. It's on my head now. So I already flat ironed, like, this side over here. I'm going to go ahead and comb this, and I know it's not, like, even or anything, but I'm just going to take this hair, face itches, I'm going to flat iron it, which I don't like flat ironing my hair, but I want to wear this wig that I made, so just flat iron it through like so, I'll fix that in a second. And I really should have flat ironed my hair on nice clean hair, but you know, hair's a little oily right now. I only have to do it through once. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and comb that down. So basically all I did to blend my hair was flat iron it. Um, Y'all will see that in the other video. I really just flat ironed it and that was it. Um, and it blended very, very well, especially to be like some bone straight hair. But then again, my hair does like um, go straight very, very easily. Like I don't have an issue with it getting bone straight. Um, the only thing is like I remember when I straighten my hair, it gets really thin because my hair is very fine. So I should have left more hair out to cover the wefts. But other than that, it's fine. Um, this hair is full from top to bottom. I'm telling you, like, even the ends are full. So if you're looking some for some, like, full <laughs> hair, get this hair. Because I know, like, a lot of straight hair, a lot of, um, companies with straight hair, it will be, like, full up here. And then when you get to the bottom, it will be, like, sparse. But this hair is very 
very very full from top to the bottom um like i said this is 16 inches so yeah you guys i'm feeling this hair i'm gonna take the ponytail down so you can see like what it looks like when it's down um so i did leave hair out right here in case i did want to wear it in a um middle part or i can wear it however it decides to fall which it wants to fall like this right now so that's fine um like i said i do need to leave more hair out because i didn't leave enough out but this hair is bomb like if you're looking for some good straight hair you can go to Asteria Hair and get it and it's very very affordable affordable can't talk it's very very affordable and all that stuff so i'll leave all the information below